Secondary Enterprise System, Gary Cartwright at NC State University. And we're here on NC State University Dairy Farm. And we're uh, celebrating the, the beginnings of the, the new Ranley Dairy uh, Heritage Museum that uh, is, is uh, a, recognizing the legacy of the Keenan Jersey cows here at NC State. They're gonna see a very typical dairy farm of North Carolina. We have, uh, we're milking about 200 head of cattle out here, very typical for a, 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 tip, a North Carolina dairy farm family uh, size farm. And uh, we're going to represent uh, old and new and current technologies, but it's just the, the public phase is going to be allowing people to come here and see what dairy farming's about. But on the backside, the operational phase, we're establishing the farm of the future. My name is Allie Davis. I am the herd manager here. We milk, we currently milk about 190 cows and we probably have about 400 head total. That includes the milking cows, the dry cows, and all of the young stuff. We have Holstein and Jerseys, and we have a few that are Holstein Jersey cross. The Holstein cows are probably around 75 pounds a day, and the Jerseys are probably around 65 pounds a day, just depending on the cow, but that's probably averages. One gallon is 8.6 pounds. We produce on this farm in one milking about 780 gallons. That's with 190 cows in milk, about 780 gallons per milking, and we milk twice a day. It goes to campus to be processed for the cow and cow milk and ice cream and eggnog in the Christmas season. We are usually always doing research for either the vet school or through the animal science department from campus. Right now we have two calf trials going on. So um, what we do is when the calf is born, we feed it its mother's colostrum and then we have to get a sample of it and then we take a blood sample. And then we also do research with the cows as far as like milking and you know any kind of drug resistance or vaccine um, trials, it all just depends. We do all kinds of different things. Where we really push technology to uh, improve animal agriculture and increase productivity but increase the comfort that the, that the cows experience uh, during uh, milk production. Well, uh, dairy has a strong heritage uh, at NC State University and, and the milk that, that comes from this farm goes continues on to the NC State Dairy Processing Facility, the Feldmeyer Dairy Processing Lab. And from that laboratory, we've uh, we produced things like sweet acidophilus milk, uh, which is was the the first truly uh, marketed probiotics in, in the United States. So these cows get taken care of very well. We've uh, we've we've got uh, we're very proud of the, the heritage and the, and the treatment of our.